Welcome to Lodestone. This is Mark Hooper. We're going to work in Adobe Photoshop and Camera Raw today. First, in Photoshop, I want to show you how to merge two photos together. And then we're going to save that as a TIFF and enhance the exposure and colors in Camera Raw. So let me show you the photos we're going to work with. So when I'm at parties, I always am of the habit of making multiple shots because you never know when you're going to have someone either eyes closed or if you just prefer the look of one individual's look in one photo and you'd like to be able to blend the photos. So here are the two shots of this group of friends of ours that I took at a recent wedding. So I'm going to show you how in Photoshop, how to take these two photos and then merge the best of both into one photo. And then we're going to go into Camera Raw and make some adjustments to the exposures, enhance the colors, and also do a little bit of a vignette on the edges. So let's get started. Okay, so I have Adobe Photoshop CS6 brought up and I've already brought in the two images and stacked them on top of each other in my layers panel. So I've already taken care of that ahead of time. Let me just show you here with my uppermost layer. If I click the show hide option here for visibility on the eyeball, I can see the two photos that I have stacked on top of each other. Now I'm of the habit when I'm at parties like this reception for friends of ours got married, when I'm taking pictures, I always like to have multiple pictures to choose from. And this is a example of where I was happy with the pose of two people in one and two people in the other, and I want to blend them together. Now, if I click the visibility icon, I want you to notice the background, like the mirror and the wallpaper in the background. When I click this, you can see that it's slightly off. So let me go ahead and have this revealed, and then we're going to shift select the two layers with both of these selected, using my shift key, I'm going to align the background here, or just align the images by choosing Edit, Auto Align Layers. And I'll take the default here of Auto and click OK. So it analyzes the picture and aligns them as best that it can here. If I click the visibility icon, I can now see that the background looks good. So this is important because I have different head positions and I just want to make sure that if I go outside of their faces that is going to reveal the information behind it which would be nice and aligned. Let me deselect the two layers and go back to my uppermost layer and I'm going to create a mask here by going down to the bottom of the layers panel and clicking on the icon to create a mask. Now it's going to create a white mask, white reveals. So there's no changes yet. So white reveals and black hides. So what I need to do is paint black on the areas that I want to reveal information below. So with the mask selected, I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is set to black. So I can see here in the bottom of my tools that I have black as the foreground color. And I'm going to select a brush. So I'm going to come up to my brush tool and select that. And if I hover over, I can see I'm happy with the brush size here, but I just want to make sure that it has a nice feathered edge. So let me go up to my properties and make sure the hardness is set to zero. So I'm just going to click on the arrow to collapse that. And then I'm going to come here to my friend Robert and I'm going to paint here to reveal information below. So I don't even have to do his entire uh, head. I'm happy with just that area here. So now I have him looking at the camera. If I'm going to switch over here to my friend Michael, and this is a case where his head is actually tilted in a different direction for the layer below. So I'm going to have to go outside of his face and even into his clothes to get this to look correct. So if I start painting black here, you can see I'm revealing the layer underneath and I have to actually go outside. This is why it was important for me to align the background so that I can go outside of this area to make sure that I have all the information nice and clean here on the lapels and I'm happy with this now I'm ready to crop it to get rid of the transparent areas on the edges so let me come over to my crop tool I'm going to select that and then I'm going to type in I want to keep this at a 7 by 5 so for the settings here I'm going to type in 7 by 5 and taking a look at the crop, I'm actually 
pretty happy with this, although it may make a slight modification here. And then just going to go up and click on the check mark to commit these changes. And then I'm going to save this as a TIFF because I want to make adjustments to the exposure in Camera Raw. So let me go up and choose File, Save As. Format is TIFF. I'm not going to include all the layers, so I'm going to take the layers off. And I'll give this a file name of Merged. And go ahead and click on Save. And I'm just going to take the default options here. Discard any layer information and save this as a copy and click OK. Now I'm going to go to Bridge and just need to refresh this so I can see the new file that I brought in. So here's my merged TIFF file. With that selected, I'm going to right click on it and choose to open it in Camera Raw. That's going to bring up my Camera Raw panel. And I'm going to start off here in the Basic category and make adjustments to the exposure. So I'm just going to increase the exposure slightly. And then if I want to adjust any of the highlight shadows, just make some minor adjustments here. I'm even going to come down and maybe increase the vibrance of the colors and the saturation just a bit. If I click the preview check mark here, you can see just making slight adjustments here, and it's really made this photo just even the slightest of adjustments. It's really making this photo look a lot better. Now, one other thing that I like to do is here in the tab, so I'm going to come over to the effects tab it's where it says FX, and I'm just going to put a slight vignette. So, here in the vignette, I'm going to drag this back so it's just going to darken the edges just a bit. Again let me turn my preview button on and off so you can see the vignette and then I'll go ahead and click on save image and I'll go ahead and just keep this information here. It's wanting to create it as a uh, digital negative. I'm just going to change this to a uh, TIFF file and go ahead and save this. And then if I open the image, it'll open it up for me in Photoshop. And there's my updated photo of merging two photos together and then making some modifications to the exposure inside a camera raw. And that's today's quick tip, working with Adobe Photoshop and Camera Raw to merge your photos and enhance the exposure and colors. I want to thank you very much for being with us. And for more detailed instruction, be sure to visit us at www.lodestone.com.